We're going to create a Super Bowl pool sheet today because the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend. It's going to look like this. So follow along. We're going to do this in Google Docs. So Google Docs, new Google Doc. And pause anytime you need so you can catch up. First thing we're going to do is change, is title it. Let's title it first. Super Bowl 2019. Okay, and we're going to change the format of the page. So go to File, Page Setup, and we're going to change it to Landscape. Click Landscape, click OK. First thing we always do is put in our heading, so click there, name, date, period. Press enter once, and we're going to put the title in here, Super Bowl 2019. You notice I didn't change the size or anything yet, I'm going to do that in a minute. Don't do it yet, it'll help later. Center that, press enter. Now go back and change this to size 12. Title, size 18, bold and underline. Okay, and click down below it. We're going to insert a table now. And the table, so we go insert, table, and when you insert a table, you just drag to however big you want your table to be. Okay, we need a 10 by 10 grid. So we're going to go 10 by 10, but then I also need room for some headings. So I'm going to go 11. Then I also need one more for the logo. So I'm going to go 12 by 12, 12 by 12 table. Okay, so make sure it says 12 by 12 there, click and it puts in our 12 by 12 table. Now I want this to be a little narrower, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format the width of these columns. So I'm going to click in this one and drag to highlight the whole table. And then anywhere in here, it doesn't matter where, I'm going to right click and go to Table Properties. Okay, click on Table Properties, right click, Table Properties. And right here it says Column Width. I'm going to click right here, right here, and put 0.5, and click OK. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple other little weird things. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to highlight this whole row, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say Merge Cells. That's where my logo is going to go in a minute. I'm going to click here, drag down, and highlight all the columns right click merge cells okay so I'm gonna put a logo in here so I'm gonna press space a few times to kinda of get towards the middle now you can put the New England Patriots up here or the LA Rams up here doesn't matter uh, I'm gonna put the Rams on top so I'm gonna to go to a new tab and put in LA Rams logo and click I want kind of a small one because I'm just going to put it in here. So I'm going to look here. See how that right there says 250 by 250? The numbers. That's actually a nice small one. So I'm going to right click, copy this. And you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go back here to my Super Bowl. And I'm going to just click here and go paste. Or edit paste. Okay, now it's kind of big. So if I click on it, I can click and, and obviously make it smaller. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now I need the other one. And since I'm right here, I have to press enter several times to get down to the middle there. And now I need the Patriots. So I'll go here and Patriots. Patriots logo. Uh, I'm going to try this one just to see if I get some smaller ones. I need some small ones. See how that says 1024 by 479? That's big. I want something small, like in the 200s. Um, it's not going to take up a lot of room. 
That one's not bad. I'll click on that one. Right click, copy, go back to here. I'm right there. Uh, right click, paste. And, and I guess I got small for sure. So I'm going to make that a little bigger. Uh, I can see how that's not fitting. I dragged to make it bigger. I can click on the line and drag this out a little bit. Okay, so center that, that's centered, I'm done. I'll show you how to use it tomorrow when I come back and you can keyboard for the rest of the period or finish up other stuff you're missing. That's it.